Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about classification of elements. In this, element means it is a pure substance which cannot be broken or split into more particles. Examples, hydrogen, helium, lithium. Like that we have 116 elements. So, element is mainly made up of atoms. Atom means it is the smallest particle of an element. So, imaginary structure of an atom is spiral 1. It is a new, it is a small part of an atom called as a nucleus which contains protons and neutrons. Outside of the nucleus, we can see spiral paths which can called as shells. These, sh these shells carry electrons and here P for protons. Protons are positively charged and N means neutrons. Neutrons are neutrally charged that means without any charge. We can also call it as zero charged particles. So E minus means electrons which are negatively charged. Here elements are classified into three types based on their properties. Properties in the sense they are physical and as well as chemical properties. Physical properties means you can see physical state or appearance based on their solids or liquid or gaseous states. And the properties contains lustrous or shininess or malleability and ductility, sonority and then density. Based on all these properties, they are divided into three types. They are metals, non-metals and then metalloids. So what exactly meant by metal? Based on their properties, we can also differentiate like this metals non metals metals based on their appearance maximum of the metals are solids metals are maximum of elements which are solids are also called as metals and these have high density these metals have high density density means thickness that means how much they are thicker are called as denser elements and then metals are malleable what is meant by malleable malleable or malleability means metals or elements which can be beaten or convert into sheets you can see like silver foil gold foil like that we can see they are made up of metals that means that metals can be converted into sheets in the form of sheets that property is called as malleability or that type of metals are called malleable metals and metals are lustrous lustrous means metals are shiny shiny in nature okay metals are shiny in nature and then metals are ductile metals are ductile in nature ductile or ductility ductile or ductility ductile or ductility means it is a property of a metal where we can draw into wires or like iron if you take any metal which we can be drawn into wires is called as ductility or that property of metals are called as ductile metals and then non-metals exactly opposite to metals 
नॉन मेटल्स और मैक्सिमम नॉन मेटल्स आर लिक्विड्स और गैसेस मैक्सिमम और गैसेस गैसेस एंड देन दे हैव लिस्ट डेंसिटी लिस्ट डेंसिटी ओके एंड देन दीज आर नॉन मैलियबल exactly opposite to the property of metals they are non malleable non metals are non malleable and then they are non lustrous non lustrous and then they are non ductile non ductile here if you see the examples of metals commonly you can see gold pure gold silver aluminium i am writing symbols here aluminium silver we can also write it as ag and then sodium you can also write it as na lithium potassium etc you have so many metals all these are having the properties like solids they are solids maximum of the metals are solids and they are have high density and they are malleable lustrous and they are ductile in nature non metals means they are maximum of the non metals are gases and these are the properties of non metals like oxygen they are gases hydrogen you can write hydrogen as a metal and non metal and then chlorine and then fluorine and you can also write it as nit n2 nitrogen etc so all these are the properties of metals and non metals between these two we have one more classification that is metalloid what is meant by metalloid or metal alloys in between we are writing means these are the elements which have the properties of both metals and non metals they are like semiconductors silicon germanium boron and etc so all these type of elements which have the properties of both metals and non metals are called as metalloids in this these are semiconductors of electricity semiconductors of electricity whereas metals are good conductors and non metals are bad conductors of electricity and these three are the types of elements and one more type of element is noble gas or noble gases noble gases are the type of elements which can which are stable and inactive in nature stable or inactive in nature stable and inactive in nature they are examples you can write it as helium neon argon krypton xenon etc like this so these elements are called as noble gases which contains eight electrons in their outermost shell with this i'll end my topic Thank you